What's up guys, this is Ethan Iverson or Ethan Degashi here and this is a 500 hour gaming PC build that I will be putting together for you guys. So, let's get into it. So for the case, we're going with the Cooler Master 430 mid tower case. It's a see-through window, nice blue LEDs, and it's mid tower so I can fit everything I need into this case. It has plenty, it comes with fans actually, and it has plenty, it has lots of room for cooling and lots of extra stuff to add into the future. So yeah, it's a great budget case and it suits the job very well. I'll be picking up this case for 50 bucks. Now for the CPU and GPU, we're going with an APU basically, which is its own graphics unit inside of the CPU. So um, AMD has their own kind and they call them A10 or they call them APUs basically. And that's called the Accelerated Processing Unit. So I'm going with the AMD A10 7050K and this is a great CPU slash GPU and it is a great bang for the buck. As you can see, lots of reviews online and places, you can see this this thing by itself can handle about a foot four and a good 30 FPS on high setting. So um, it is great for the budget, and if you don't want to break the bank, this is something you definitely have to go with. Now, since my APU is an FM2 Plus socket, I will need an FM2 FM2 Plus motherboard. So one was an ASUS A55. That's I think that's what it's called. A55 period. That's it basically. Um, it's ASUS 855 and it's FM2 Plus and it's micro ATX fit inside. Um, it'll fit inside my case. So you guys can pick up this motherboard for around 60 bucks and bang for the buck. What about the RAM, Mike? You ask. I'm going with the Kingston HyperX Blue Series, two sticks of four gigabytes RAM and 1600 megahertz clock, and it will suit everything I need perfectly well. Um, so that's it, that's the RAM, and you pick up this RAM for around 60 bucks. And blue is spelled B-L-U, not B-L-U-E, because apparently that makes it 10 times cooler. So, um, if you want to get awesome Boss Blue RAM, you should go with this. It's only 60 bucks, well, 65 technically, but, um, let's not digress. Let's continue on with the build. So we're going to WD Blue 1 Desktop Series HDD. This HDD, or hard drive, is great for what we need, budget. One terabyte, plenty of room, uh, <laughs> normal speeds, not blowing out the water. Everything you need into one for 60 bucks, you can't go wrong here. So that's the HDD, that's the hard drive. And finally, we're going with a Corsair CX500 Builder Series, and this is 60 bucks too. So we're going the Corsair Builder Series CX500. This thing is 500 watts, it gets everything you need for this build. It's a pretty small build, pretty cheap build, and that's everything that you need. So later on, you can probably add an HD7770 in there, and you can play pretty much any game you want. This this PSU will supply all the power you need, and you can pick this up for 50 bucks, so that is the PSU. So everything's like 60 bucks, and there's six, six parts for this build. So I'm not sure why the number six is everywhere. Hello? Is this the White House? Alright guys, so that is a $500 gaming PC build. You can play pretty much most of the games. I'm not going to say any game. You can play most of the games that you want, relatively low settings or medium settings, at a playable frame rate, and you will not be dying out of straight lag. So this will get you the performance that you need for $500, which you cannot beat. $500 is a great price for what you get. And this is another budget gaming PC build by me, Ethan Iverson. So please, if you like this video, feel free to subscribe and to like. And that's it. Peace out.